Hello, I'm Matthias, the person behind Stitch Buddy. Um, Stitch Buddy is an editor for embroidery designs running on iOS or on macOS. And on iOS, so far, there were two versions. One of them, Stitch Buddy View, a free one running on iPhones and iPads, but only for viewing designs. And a second one, Stitch Buddy HD, which runs only on iPads, but can combine and modify designs. So in the future, there will be only one combined application running on both devices. So you will be able to edit and combine designs both on iPads and on iPhones. And today I will give you a preview on Stitch Buddy for iOS. So just changing into my design gallery, um, I have a folder there which is birthday flowers. And I would like to work on one of these flowers, combine it with a letter and changing the stitch order and converting the design just to give you a, a kind of short impression how to work with this application. So I'm changing into this birthday flowers folder by double tapping. Um, um, I would like to work on the second sunflower design there and because all modi modifications I will make will be saved instantly and I don't want to replace this original file, I will copy it into another folder. I could duplicate it as well, but for, for our purpose I would copy it. Um, I could use the, the tool, um, tool menu by tapping on these three dots in the top or slide on this item, choosing these three dots. And there is an item to copy the design and I will copy it to, into the demo folder. So now I'm changing to the demo folder. As you can see, there's already another file there, the um, letter A, which I will use to combine it later on. First, I would like to change the name of my sunflower design, making it something more meaningful. So I'm selecting the design. This time I'm using the top item there. Or um, rename the file to something like sunflower. Okay. And I will work on this design by double tapping or using the edit toolbar item, something like that. There are a couple of uh, different options to open the design. Um, I want to combine only the sunflower with this letter, so I will remove the leaves of this flower. And because Stitch Party is always working on selected stitches, I have to select all stitches which should be removed first. And therefore I will use one of my selection tools. As you can see, I can, for example, select stitches by dragging a rectangle um, around them. I can select stitches between jumps and color changes, single stitches or, and that's what I will do now, I can use thread, uh, the select stitches of one thread. Um, this, this tool is already selected, as you can see by the check mark, so I don't have to do anything. Um, I'm just tapping on the stitches, and as you can see, all stitches of the thread are selected, are marked in red. I will repeat this step for the other parts of the design as well. So all red stitches should be removed, so I'm using the uh, corresponding tool. Delete the selection and exit the design back to the gallery. Um, now I'm opening the English A design and I would like to copy all these stitches into the other uh, design, combining them. So again, it's the same, I have to select the stitches. The, this time it's more easy because I just select all stitches of this design and copy them into the clipboard. I'm done with this design, opening again the sunflower and pasting my selection. But before I do that, I'll just zoom out a little bit by using the pinch or spread gesture, just to have a better overview. So I'm pasting the A. Mm, okay, it's um, not aligned in a way I would like to have it. So I'm dragging the letter A, or I'm dragging actually all marked stitches, which is still see the 
the, the pasted letter by just dragging with one finger. Maybe a little bit more. Okay, and I will deselect all stitches now just to give you a better overview how the design might look like. So there are two things which are not right. First of all, I would like to have the letter A behind the sunflower, so I have to change the stitch order. Or I can do this in the thread menu um, just by editing the threads. And here, as you might know, these handles I can just drag the last stitch into the first position, done, and switching back to the design. Now we can see that the letter A is behind the sunflower. And the second thing that's not bright is the design is not centered. And there are many embroidery, <coughs> yeah, sorry, there are many embroidery machines which have problems with, with uh, not properly centered design. So you should always after working on the design and before sending it to your embroidery machine um, center the design so that's what i just did and now you can have a problem more detailed look into the design here um, as you can see i'm switching back to the gallery and the preview is instantly updated. Or actually, I forgot something. Um, the design, as we worked on the uh, Brother Pass design of the Sunflower, is still Brother Pass in Brother Pass file format. Um, I, I'm owning a Genome machine, so I need it in another file format. I have to convert this design. It can be easily done with a tool menu as well, so I can convert it into different file formats. I choose Genome Jeff here and now there's a second design which is my Genome Jeff sunflower design. I can send it to my embroidery machine. Actually I can't send it from my iPhone directly but I have to use my computer either my Mac or my my PC to send it over or to save it on a USB stick. So that was a preview on the new Stitch 44 iOS app. Um, as I mentioned, there were former applications. Stitch Buddy View, the free one only for viewing design, will be discontinued. Uh, Stitch Buddy HD, the editor, will be replaced by this version. It will become a free application for viewing designs. So you will be able to um, view designs, print designs, mail designs for free. If you really want to modify, combine, convert designs, then you will need an in-app purchase, which can be purchased from the settings menu here. As you can see, I have already unlocked these features. Uh, the Stitch Buddy Pro in-app purchase will be, depending on your local currency, 10 US dollar, and you can purchase directly from the app. It will be it will become active instantly. Um, but for Trying out if Stitch Buddy is something for you and for viewing designs, as I mentioned, it's a free download from Apple's App Store. And Stitch Buddy for iOS will be released this month. This is May 2018, um, maybe in, in two, three weeks, something like that. So I will um, maybe today or tomorrow publish a second video showing you how Stitch Buddy for iOS will look like on an iPad. Uh, with a split view, um, I will show you to share, to email designs, to work with the slide overview, something like that. So you might want to look the other video as well. Um, okay, I hope you enjoyed the session. Take care and goodbye.